Hi, welcome back to my eight part in-depth study on Jesus Christ. Uh, the first two parts we studied who Jesus Christ was, is, and is to come. Uh, the second part was what he said. And this third part, or this, yeah, this third part is going to be on what he, I mean, this fourth part is going to be on uh, why he came. So let me show you the paperwork for that in case you want to follow along. I hope that comes through okay. Oops. All right, so that is going to be the fourth part. Yeah. Okay, so this one's kind of short, short compared to the other ones. So in Matthew 9 13, it says, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So that we know here, he's telling us one of the reasons he came, to call sinners to repent. Okay? Luke 5, 32. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Luke 9, 22 saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. So Jesus knew why he came and was aware the whole time that he would sacrifice his life for the sin of the world and exactly how that would happen. How brave and honorable our king is. Luke 12, 51. Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. I tell ye nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. The division he speaks of is between those who believe in Jesus and follow him and those who do not. Matthew 18, 11. How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine and goeth into the mountain and seeketh that which is gone astray? Jesus came to save the lost. See, he knew the Hebrews were lost. That's why he came to the Hebrews first. They were his chosen, yes, and still are. Um, but he came to them first because they were the lost sheep. 1 John 3, 8 to 9. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For that purpose the Son of Man was manifested. For that purpose. Why he came? Why did Jesus come? Yeah, he came to overcome the devil. I'm going to read that again. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. He is talking about Jesus himself here. Jesus never sinned. He could never sin. God's seed remained in him. And God is holy. And God is sinless. So, of course, his son is holy. And his son is sinless. Even though he also took on a human form, he still was the seed of God, pure and holy. 1 John 3, 8. 
He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. Oh, I already read that in the other verse. Um, 1 John 3, 23. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. Remember on Matthew uh, chapters 5, 6, and 7, that's how he gave us commandment to love one another. God wants us to believe on his son. 1 John 4, 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. That's why he came. God sent him to be the Savior of the whole world. And he did his Father's will. And he was and he is. Jesus came to save us. This is the last one. Matthew eighteen eleven. How think ye? If a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? So, Jesus came. One of the reasons Jesus came was to save the lost house of Israel. So, join me next time for part five, which we will be covering what he did.